Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Sunday, November 21st, 2021. This puzzle has a title, it's called Screen Sharing. Alright, let's get started. Okay, it looks like we've got some circles on the grid today. Maybe these are all going to be our theme answers here. Let's start with one across. Let's extra light in in a way. Hmm. Is it going to be something about curtains, maybe? Or blinds? I wonder. Let's take a peek at these downs here. Expert. This could be a noun or an adjective. Hmm. A lot of the answers I would want to put in here are three letters, like pro or ace or something like that. Hmm. Song titles shared by hit singles for Ja Rule and Flo Rida. I don't know their oeuvres well enough to be able to get that one. In the blank? <laughs> in the dark, maybe? It seems like there's a lot of possibilities here, too. High points? Um, well, I think it has to be Acme's. It can't be Apex's, because that would be six letters. Kind of force created by the moon. Would that be a tidal force, maybe? There we go, we're starting to get a little bit of a toehold. Ending with brown dot or auburn dot. Maybe that's edu. Those are both schools. What tahini is made from? That's made from sesame seeds. Nice, okay, well we have the ends of the acrosses here. Hmm. This is an air rates, right? That doesn't really make sense. That's about letting oxygen in, not light. Hmm. Deforestation, for example? Would that be an example of ecocide? <laughs> Killing the environment? Yeah. It's not in the dark. Hmm. Alright, why don't we take a peek at our first really long theme answer here. Selma Hayek, 1996-2002. Hmm. Well, I know she's an actress. Are these years of movies that she was in? Or maybe years that she won awards? The title of this puzzle is Screen Sharing. I wonder if this is going to be the name of another actor or actress that she shared a screen with in these two years. Hmm, that seems like a pretty good hypothesis at least. This does sort of look like it might be a name. Driven, say. Like you're motivated? Driven? EA is a little odd at the end here. Blank Flux one-time sci-fi series? That was Aeon Flux, right? That was an MTV animated series on Liquid Television. Sister brand of Saucony and Stride Right. Are these all owned by the same company? Hmm, I don't know if I know that one. Tush. Another word for your tush. It's not your hiney. It's not your derriere. It has to be kind of cutesy. Is it patoot again? <laughs> we had patootie a little while ago. Um, yeah, maybe. Thanks to... Hmm. Get on the stick, and this is wordplay. So I'm not sure what the standard reading of this would be. Would this be about getting on a stick shift, like drive? But anyway, I think the punny reading of this clue is gonna be about getting on a pogo stick. Okay. Not home could be away. Owing to, there we go. Actress Godot, that's Gal Godot, Wonder Woman. Olive Blank is Olive Oil, that's Popeye's sweetheart. Um, hmm, is this From Dusk Till Dawn? She was in From Dusk Till Dawn, right? Um, that was a vampire movie. And then what do we have in these circled squares here? Frida. Oh my god, that was another movie she was in. She was Frida Kahlo, right? 
So it looks like our theme is going to be about actors and actresses, and it'll be two movies that they start in, and one will contain the other. That is really cool. I cannot wait to get into the rest of these. Um, actually, let's take a look at this next one. I have a good guess for what it might be already. It looks like it's going to be Slumdog Millionaire, Dev Patel, 2008-2016. Yeah, Slumdog Millionaire. And then it's also Lion. I don't know Lion. I just watched The Green Knight, though. That one was really good. Um, okay, well, can we go back and finish this corner? I don't want to abandon this northwest corner here. Maybe this is in the mood. Hopefully you're in the mood for movies today. Um, hmm. What is this? I Cry? Acre? I doubt it's Acre. Driven. Hmm. Expert could be deft, maybe. That would be an adjective. Yeah, that's very tricky. This is not a noun. This is not an expert. Um. Hmm. What? Do we have something wrong here? Driven. Is it not mood? This almost looks like it wants to be debates. I guess if you're debating, you could be figuratively letting extra light in. Could this start with a B? In the boot? All right, I was being really stubborn. I didn't want to leave this corner until we got it filled in. I think I finally saw what this is. Driven could be type A. Yeah. I was thinking this could be I cry, and when I put that Y in there, I had that aha moment. Okay, so this is probably I cry, and then maybe this is dilates, like your eye could dilate to let extra light in. Oof, that is so tricky. And then this is in the loop. Oh my god, okay. Wow, that was a very tough northwest corner there. I don't know why we struggled so much, but yeah, it's not like there's anything crazy here. I think I cry really threw us for a loop because I had no idea what that was going to be. Okay, so maybe this is going to be Keds. What remains with the, the rest maybe? What two is vis-a-vis -vis one? I guess it would be more. Two is more than one. QED. Small valleys could be Dales. In any way. Maybe that's at all. Music genre prefix, is that alt? Sleaze balls, that's gotta be low lifes. That's a nice piece of fill there. Kind of muscle. I would really want this to be muscle as in like the gangster tough kind of muscle. Um, I don't know if that's actually right though. It's looking like it might be tendon. Tendon, is that right? Pool tester, yeah, you could dip a toe in. All D though? Yellow belly. This is wordplay, so it's not gonna be about a coward, right? Hmm. You know what? I think this has to be about the belly of the word yellow, literally. It has to be about the L's in the belly of yellow. So this should be L's. Um, and this is not Dales, it's Dells, like the farmer in the Dell. Yeah, I was kind of thinking, I didn't think tendons were muscles. Um, so maybe this is a tensor. I believe that is a muscle. It might be in your like forearm possibly. Yeah, that looks a lot better, okay. Lichtensteiner's currency. I don't know this for sure, but it's looking like it's gonna be a franc. Badger could be nag. They're not asking about a literal badger. They're asking about the verb to badger. Chess's blank caruana, one-time youngest grandmaster in US history. 14 years, 11 months. Whew, that is precocious. I haven't heard of this person. I don't know too much about chess. Choose, hmm. It's not grasp, right? That doesn't really sound too good. Yeah. Flowerhorn cichlids and vampire tetras, for example. 
Whoa, I have never heard of either of these. Um, they kind of... Well, I was going to say at first maybe they're plants, but because this has flower in it, I'm kind of inclined to say maybe they're insects instead. I don't know what kind of insect, though. Um, I'm leaning towards insects here, though. Worker who wants to strike. And this is wordplay, so it's not going to be about somebody in a labor union. Um, I would want this to be like a pitcher, like a baseball pitcher. They would want to get a strike, right? It's not pitcher, though. Maybe it's a boxer. You would want to strike your opponent, maybe? Let's see if we can build off of that X. Bop on the head. Hmm. That X looks really bad there. I'm going to take it out. That looks so bad. I'm going to take it out. Um, I don't know what this should be, though. Go on. Shoot. An equivalent phrase. Is it try me, maybe? You're kind of challenging someone to ask you a question. Pair in gossip could be an item. There we go. Very nice. Uh, hmm. Line through two poles. What are we talking about here? A battery? Doesn't seem like it. Two poles. Telephone poles? I don't know. Arm of the Department of Homeland Security. And it's going to be abbreviated. Yeah, I don't know. Did this T help at all? Hmm. I don't think it's going to be manticores, <laughs> even though that would fit. Let's see if we can get some help on the end here. Texters, I think. I think that should be in my opinion. Prefix with present, maybe omnipresent. Goes to hell. It's not literally going to hell, right? Maybe it's going to be about like something going really badly. Sours? No, it would have to be Sours with an S. Hmm. You mean I'm wrong? Another equivalent phrase? Hmm. I don't know. Here, have a taste? Another equivalent phrase. Uh, it's got to end in it, right? Like, try it. Just try it is too long. Hmm. Maybe this is go for. Ooh, that F hopefully will help a lot. Um, what? Arctic something? Is it Arctic something? Hmm, this would be a C. This would be an R. Hmm, I don't know. Ooh, this almost feels like it should end in an S though, doesn't it? Rots? Oh man, I don't know. You know what, let's come back to this. We're having a little bit of trouble here. I think if we can build down through here, we'll be able to get this last corner. Quail is to bevy as blank is to parliament. Is that an owl? Is there a parliament of owls as there is a bevy of quail? That's pretty fun. Parliament kind of befits the seriousness of owls. Okay. Hmm, an equivalent phrase could be, I wonder. Equipment used to play the oldest organized sport in North America. Um, that's got to be lacrosse, right? Because that was a Native American game. So it's probably cross. Is that the word for the net that you use? I bet it is. Yeah, it must be a French word. Okay, blank con of con academy fame. I don't know if I know this one. A companier of smoke could be ash, maybe. Broadband initials are maybe DSL. Um, let's see if we can build out this way. I want to get this theme answer here before we get too far down into here. Cyber squatters make fake ones? Are they fake URLs? Hmm. I mean, they don't make fake URLs, right? They just sort of claim URLs that they think that other people might want later, right? Isn't that what they do? Unless I'm mistaken about that. Amount of tips earned by a street performer, maybe. Oh man, please let this be hatful. <laughs> that would be so clever. I love it. You get a hatful of tips. 
barrels of fun. Is this talking about a specific kind of barrel, like a keg? I wonder. Satirist blank Baron Cohen, that's Sasha. Um, and I believe he spells it with a CH. I think that's why he shows up on the puzzle sometimes, because it's kind of an unusual spelling. Entree served with a knife. That's got to be steak. A tofu steak. Jerkwad could be an ass, yeah. Uh, what is this? Maybe it's just a word that means barrels of fun, like a lot of fun. Maybe it's a hoot. Something you would hear in a parliament of owls, yeah. All right, can we get this? This looks like Ocean's Eleven, right? Brad Pitt, 2001, 1995. Ocean's Eleven, and it's going to be Seven, right? Yeah, he was in Seven also. Very nice. Um, okay. I wonder if we should start peeking at the rest of these because they're pretty easy to get with even just a little bit of crossing help. Um, yeah, let's see if we can look at this next one here. Owen Wilson, 2005-2006. Ooh. Well, he was in a lot of um, Wes Anderson films, right? It's not the Royal Tenenbaums. This is a very short one. Four letters. Hmm. The Life Aquatic? No. I don't know his filmography super well. Let's look at the next one here. Joaquin Phoenix, 2014, 2013. Okay, well, I know the 2013 movie is going to be her. Um, I'm not sure what the longer one is going to be. It was the year after he did her. Hmm. Boy, I guess we are going to need some more crossing help. All right, just for fun, let's take a peek at this last one. Al Pacino and Robert De Niro, 1974, 1995, twice. Um, is it the Godfather part? No, that's not going to work. Hmm, I'm not like super into like gangster movies, which is what these guys have done a lot of. Yeah, I'll probably recognize them when I see them, but I'm not going to be able to get them off the top of my head. All right, well, we kind of struck out there. Let's try and start building back towards them in the traditional manner. Price jockeying of competing airlines. Price jockeying? Is this about fares? Like fair cut, maybe? Ooh, yeah, that looks good. Not paying attention could be unaware? Yeah. O'Hara? Oh, it's Catherine O'Hara of Schitt's Creek. Yeah, she's in a lot of Christopher Guest movies, right? And Home Alone, yeah. Okay, utilize a company policy for new parents, say. Shouldn't that be take leave? Like take paternity or maternity leave? So is it not unaware? That's interesting. I do think it should be take leave, right? Let's see if we can confirm that. Stock ticker symbol for a longtime clothing brand. That has to be Levi. Corrects in text. That is immense. We've seen that a lot lately. This E at the beginning means specifically we're talking about text corrections. It's not amends. Walgreens competitor is CVS. Yeah. Outstanding finds could be gems. Golly gee, an equivalent phrase. Is it egads? <laughs> okay. This is interesting. I really want this to be wedding crashers. Is it not fair cut? Is that not right? Wedding crashers. That looks good. And then this is cars. Oh yeah, he was a voice in cars, wasn't he? Um, so maybe this is a fair war instead of a fair cut. Um, hmm, I'm not sure about this one. Meatloaf's Rocky Horror Roll. I'm embarrassed to say I haven't seen Rocky Horror, at least not all the way through. I don't know this one. Baseless Rumors. Hmm, it's not gossip. It's at the beginning of this clue. At the beginning, is it about a capital I? Is it a short I? There we go, yeah. It was about the letter I, okay. 
Maybe this is unalert. Oh my god, okay. Hmm. Well, maybe we can get the beginning on these downs here. Forensic pros in brief could be crime scene investigators. Words of eventual understanding. Um, I hope it's not us, so... Focus of some smartphone updates. Focus. Hmm. I don't know. Is it iOS? Problems with phonograph records. Is it skips? The record can skip sometimes, right? Okay, good. So this is oh, okay. I like that much better than ah, so. Um, hmm. It's not cowards. Interesting. Maybe it is iOS. What is this long one here? Afraid not? I want that to be no such luck. Um... Is it possible this is not skips? No such luck. That's a really good answer there. Um... Hmm... I don't know. Put on again. I really want this to be re-air. Like, a rerun? Man, okay. Is it re-air? Maybe it is skips still. Can we confirm this P at least? Walking sticks? And this is wordplay, so this is not going to be about a cane. What could this be? Walking sticks. Huh. Packed house initials? That has to be standing room only. That's a very crosswordy abbreviation. Yeah, so it's not re-air, okay. What could this be then? Oh, it's just rerun. I think I literally said rerun, okay. Well, we were close. Maybe this is nursery Bob, there we go. All right, that kind of confirms this stuff, that's good. So what is this then? Oh, this is not gonna be an O, it's an A, because this could be a canard. That's a great word. Oof, that was tough to see though. And this is ah, uh, okay. And then I guess maybe this is gonna be Eddie. Before in poetry is air, yeah, okay. Brother of 99 down. Oh boy, a cross clue, okay. Well, we're gonna have to get those on crosses. Blank elect, maybe that's to be. That also means kind of elect. Bug-eyed, maybe that could be a gog, like you're very excited about something. Takes from, could that be nabs? Member of a Turkic group. Uh, hmm. One time streaming platform of the 2010s. One time, so it's not around anymore? Interesting. Oh my God, this is peg legs. That's so fun. What a great clue for peg legs, walking sticks. That's hilarious. Okay, so maybe this is Abel, and that could give us Cain here, a biblical pair of brothers. Um, I don't know what this is gonna be. Turkic group. It's like an ethnic group, maybe? Oh my God, what is this? I have no idea. Can we get this now that we have a little bit of help? It does sort of look like it's gonna be the Godfather, doesn't it? The Godfather part. Oh, maybe it's two eyes. Shoot, we were so close. I was just thinking we'd have to spell out the number and I thought it was one letter too long. <laughs> That's so funny. And then that leaves us with heat heat <laughs> because there's two people in the clue oh my god that's so tricky they put heat in there twice they even literally told us they did it oh man okay expensive super bowl purchase shouldn't that be an ad maybe it's oh it's that tricky word put ah yeah it can be present tense or past tense reran and then this could be an ad slot maybe what is this one? Modern joust venue informally. That has to be a Ren Faire with an E at the end for that old timey quality. T 
TV's Blank Lasso, Ted Lasso. I love Ted Lasso. Took a bow, and this is wordplay, so maybe it's took a bow. Yeah, maybe aimed. Ramirez of Grey's Anatomy. Man, I have not watched Grey's Anatomy. I have no idea. All right, this is maybe a revealer. Let's see what this is gonna say. Modern tech feature for watching two programs on one screen or an alternative title for this puzzle. Um, I would really want this to be picture in picture. I think maybe we have some wrong stuff here. Yeah, I guess that's modern. I feel like there was picture in picture televisions in like the 1980s and I remember that blew my mind. Picture in picture. Yeah, there we go. So maybe this is an ad spot. Yeah, that makes me think of like Back to the Future 2 when Marty's kid is watching like 16 television channels at the same time. Okay, um, I'm still not sure what this is going to be then if it's not aimed. High value deposit could be a deposit of ore. Oh, that's still Ted. Um, is it arced? It took a bow as in like a rainbow, not a bow and arrow bow. Yeah, okay, well we were close. Okay, so maybe this is gonna be Sarah Ramirez? Went after, yeah, it seems like it should end in at. Maybe it's got at? Like you got at a point maybe? Contents of college blue books. College blue books, hmm. I didn't really go to a typical college. That's a little outside of my ken. Shortest answer from a magic eight ball. That's yes. Okay. Noted fashion monogram. That's Yves Saint Laurent, right? Okay. Massive adversary. Is that a Goliath? <laughs> yeah. Got some biblical references today in the bottom half of the puzzle. Org with a noted bell. With a noted bell. Hmm, is that going to be the New York Stock Exchange because of the opening bell? Yeah. Okay, maybe this is essays. You write essays in blue books? Yeah, I think I've heard of that. Um, some dolls sold in a Universal Studios gift shop. Is that E.T.'s? E.T. the extraterrestrial? So this could be set at. Wow, okay, you set yourself at something? Like a goal, maybe? The lowest numero primo. Um, is this the lowest prime number in Spanish? Is that dos? I guess they're not counting one as a prime number. I know that's kind of contentious. Okay. Surfaces, e.g. Is this the Microsoft Surface? This is a great misdirection. That would be PCs. When tripled playful onomatopoeia for shooting laser beams. That's got to be pew pew pew. River of Old Song. Um, I wonder if this is a hidden proper noun here. Or maybe it is literally just talking about a river. I don't know. Hmm. Either way, I'm not sure. Measures of acidity should be pHs. Equal? Maybe a peer? That's another tricky one because it could be a noun or kind of a verb there. Whom you might ask, where will I be in 10 years? Could that be a seer, someone that can see the future? Kind of like a magic eight ball. Start of many a limerick. There once was a man from Nantucket. Pickup line, and this is wordplay. Um, so this is not about flirting with someone. Is this gonna be about like a pickup truck? A line of pickup trucks? I don't know. Hmm, this river is not looking familiar. Brought on. Could that be hired? You brought someone onto your company? You mean I'm wrong, right? Um, maybe it's it isn't? There we go, okay. That was hard to see. Here, have a taste. That almost seems like it should be try some, right? Oh, and this should be, this should not be a T here. Maybe it is rots. Maybe it's try this. There we go. Okay. Oh, is this fish? 
It is Arctic something. It was Arctic fish. Boy, okay. Well, we got a little more help up here. That's good. Can we finish this off now? Oh man, yeah, we're not gonna get this name. Bop on the head. Uh-oh, this is a trouble corner here. Shoot, okay, well, let's come back to that. Clever blank are never punished, Voltaire. Is that clever tyrants? That does seem to be the case, sadly. Swoon, a bracket clue. Okay, so part of this clue answer pair is gonna be nonverbal. It looks like this swoon is definitely the nonverbal part. So what would be a verbal equivalent of a swoon? Um, it's hot? Uh, I don't think so. Hiccup line. Maybe this is need a ride. You're picking someone up in your car. It's very clever. It could also be kind of a pickup line in the traditional sense too. Okay. Um, hmm. Sunrise Singer Jones. I don't know if I know this one. Supermodel Shake. I definitely have not heard of this person either. Went up against... Hmm. Is it about leaning against something or like combating something else? Sorority letter. And it starts with an E. Although this could be need a lift too, right? Maybe that's what's throwing us off. Is this it's love? Yeah, you're swooning over someone. That's great. Okay. So maybe with these new letters, this will help get these downs. Went up against faced there we go yeah sorority letter maybe that could be theta boy yeah getting incorrect letters out of there really helps a lot okay this is nora jones i have heard of her okay and then joaquin phoenix uh is this inherent vice i've actually never heard of that movie before that's interesting okay van gogh's la blanc Etoile. Um, I'm not sure what this is going to be. Early online forum that popularized terms like FAQ and spam. That has to be Usenet. Yeah, that was very early internet. Is this Irina? Irina Shake? Mathematician Lovelace. Yes, the first programmer. Ada Lovelace. Okay, good. Well, we got that. This is Irina. All right, um, this is maybe nuit. I think that's the French word for night. Um, I guess maybe this is the French title for starry night, right? Because I think etoile is star, right? So maybe this is starry, etoile. Uh, yeah, I think that's my best guess there. When Alexander Hamilton is sung in Hamilton, looking like it's gonna be act one, another piece of media I've missed out on. I really need to watch that one. Shower times. What kind of shower? Like a baby shower? Hmm. Or like a rain shower. Maybe it's April's. April showers, yeah. Timorous. Oh boy, timorous. This is a $10 word. Does this mean kind of nervous? I'm trying to remember what this means. I believe it means nervous. Is it like trepid? Like your trepidatious historic trade ally of the Monacan people. I don't know. Could it be the Erie people? Possibly. Submissions to a casting director. That has to be reels if you're an actor. Regret could be rue. Shore sorer is definitely a gull. Name on a toy truck is the Hess truck. So we get UG for the nonverbal part of that smells terrible. Yeah. I mean, you say it, but it's not an actual word. So it counts as nonverbal. Okay. Um, maybe it is trepid. Absolutely devoured. Is it inhaled? Nice. Okay. And then this should be a D. Places for rubs and scrubs. Um, is it going to be detoxes? If you're at a detox, like at a spa, what is this? Thick component of orange juice. No, that has to be pulp, right? 
It's not detoxes, okay. Um, blank sense, in a sense. Like wool sweaters often, that's definitely itchy. Yeah, you gotta go with those synthetic fibers. Um, maybe it is day spas. Ah, we were right on the edge of getting it. Yeah, okay. Teensy bits could be iotas. Snoring symbols in Surrey. All right, so usually when you sleep in a cartoon or something, you have Zs above your head. So in Surrey, which is in England, those would be Zs instead. Very funny. Okay, dark yellow shade is definitely topaz. So that gives us Broca's area, segment of the brain linked to speech. Yes, that's very important for doing crossword puzzles. Um, all right, let's see if we can untangle this northeast corner here. Hmm, I'm having some thoughts about this corner. I think some of this stuff is going to be wrong. Possibly both of these. My first thought here was worker who wants to strike. I was thinking maybe that could be about striking ore, like this kind of ore. Um, so maybe that could be miner. A miner would want to strike into a rich vein of ore, right? Um, and then looking at these, these all looked so weird, all of these crosses. Um, at first I was like, maybe this is acne, but that looks so bad. Um, and then this, this line through two poles, I thought, I really want it to be axis. Yeah, so I think this definitely has to be wrong. Um, and if this is axis, let's take this out too. Maybe this could be exotic fish instead of arctic fish. Yeah, and then this could be axis. Um, maybe this is FEMA, arm of the Department of Homeland Security. And then this is ask me. Yeah, boy, having those two wrong answers in there really prevented progress. And then this should be bonk for a bop on the head, right? Yeah, and then that leaves us with Fabiano Caruana. I have not heard of this person. It's a very impressive feat though. Grandmaster at 14 years old, amazing. All right, well, let's throw that B in there and see if that does it for us. Oh, fiddlesticks, we have a square wrong. All right, we're not done yet. Let me see if I can track it down. Oh, here we go. We didn't go back and check these answers. Yeah, both of these look really bad, don't they? Titan and H Boga. <laughs> yeah, that's wrong. I think this is going to be a Tatar. I have heard of that. And then this is not Nabs, it's Robs. And that leaves us with HBO Go. That is a streaming platform I've heard of. Yeah, that's what existed before. What do they have now? HBO Max, I think. They've changed names a bunch of times. But anyway, let's see if this O does it for us. All right, well, 56 minutes is not a great time for a Sunday for us. I'm always aiming for around 40 minutes. Um, we spent a good five minutes looking for our incorrect square, but that still puts us about 10 minutes over our target time. Um, I think it was pretty much just down to a couple of tough sections, like this corner up here was very tough for whatever reason. Um, probably just because of Fabiano here. I had no idea what this is going to be. This was a tough wordplay too, minor. I really like it a lot. It's very clever. Um, and then exotic fish. Yeah, I thought it was going to be arctic fish. I guess I should have maybe guessed exotic because these are very kind of exotic sounding vampire flower horn. I like that you can pair this minor with the ore down here too. And then we had try me. Yeah. That was a rough one to get wrong. Very tricky up here, but nothing unfair, of course. And then kind of the mirrored corner down here, we also had trouble with Tatar, HBO Go. But again, though, nothing unfair. We just had this wrong answer here that kind of prevented us from getting the right answers in. We had nabs instead of robs, yeah. But let's talk about this theme. This is really fun, a picture-in-picture -picture theme. Very, very clever. So we have movie titles that an actor acted in, that contain the name of another movie that that same actor acted in. From Dusk Till Dawn, Frida for Salma Hayek, Slumdog Millionaire and Lion for Dev Patel, Ocean's Eleven and Seven for Brad Pitt. Yeah, that one was kind of a gimme. Wedding Crashers and Cars for Owen Wilson. 
I don't know why I had so much trouble with that one. I haven't seen Wedding Crashers in a really long time, though. Inherent Vice and Her for Joaquin Phoenix. I'm a big fan of her. I liked that movie a lot. And then The Godfather Part 2 and Heat twice. Heat Part 2 also. I'm glad they gave us this little twice because otherwise that would have been very confusing. And we were so close to getting this one. Ugh, I wish I had put it in. I maybe would have seen Heat and it all would have come together. But yeah, overall that was a really fun theme. There was some nice tricky language on the puzzle today. I liked trepid, timorous, those are both good words to learn. Canards is also a really nice one. Renfair is a nice piece of fill. Goliath, yeah, there's just kind of in general some good language on the puzzle today. Oh, and no siree Bob too, that's a really fun phrase. And as far as wordplay goes, I just absolutely adored peg legs for walking sticks. That's hilarious. We had another sticks-based wordplay clue too, get on the stick for Pogo, another good one. Even though I'm not sure what the standard reading of this is. Yeah, hopefully the goose filled us in on that one. This need a lift wordplay was very good too, pick up line. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving this puzzle full of double features with me. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the nice easy Monday puzzle. And I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.